What's going on guys, Don over at Beast Mode CRM and REI Automation. Uh, just gonna go over a connection point with Deal Machine and Beast Mode CRM. Had a question in the Podio Facebook group on how to make that happen, what that looks like using Zapier, so that's what we'll specifically talk about today. Um, you can see that I am logged into Deal Machine, so this is their website. I have an account and once logged in and you have a deal located and in here that you've taken a picture of, you can uh, come into it and it'll look like this. So what I'm gonna talk over is we've set up a zap where when an update happens to the status, which is this right here, and it equals follow-up, uh, it will push to this deal machine app that we have created. And if you're a Beast Mode CRM member, you can reach out to our support team and uh, let them know what your workspace name is with us and uh, we can connect and give you that deal machine app inside your Podio Beast Mode workspace. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute as well. Now there's some other triggers you could do. Um, you could make it to where anytime a new deal is started, it would create an item inside of that uh, app inside of Podio Beast Mode. Uh, I chose to make it to where it requires an update so that not everything is going into that app. It requires a trigger. Um, you could choose a couple different triggers, but that's the one that I've chosen for uh, this video. So let's talk over what that uh, app looks like. So inside of our Beast Mode workspace, I've created this Deal Machine app. This is what our members will get if they ask uh, for the install. And from there, they'll have to create the Zap, and I'll show what that looks like as well. And what we'll do is set up backend automation to where when a new item is created and a button is clicked that I'll show you in a minute. It will then either uh, search and update an item in the property lead app if it finds the phone number matches or it will create a brand new item. So we'll talk over that here in a minute. This is the app. I've created some views here on the uh, left hand side so you can see how many news uh, that we have that need to be looked at. We have how many in the last seven days, 30 days and month over month. And then these are the items uh, that and what it looks like. So I've got it set up like this with the badges. You can adjust uh, what it looks like right here if you want a table or a card, but this is what it's set up as. So you have a seller's name, phone, email, and then the map of the property. And uh, when you click in it, this is what it'll look like. So you have full name, first and last name, and their basic information came in as a new item. Once we want to push it, We'll click this button, and that was what I was talking about. We'll set up a flow for you on our side to make that happen. You just need to set up the Zapier to get it in here uh, with your Deal Machine account. Got the property address or map field to where this is the uh, property itself showing up. And then uh, we've got mailing address that's pulling in as long as that was obtained inside a Deal Machine. Some of the fields that you're going to see uh, coming up, you'll notice that some are filled in, some are not. Just depends if they had them on the Deal Machine side or if we filled them in. So you can see here, um, this is the date and time it was created over on the deal machine side. This is the user inside of the deal machine that created the actual uh, deal or property. And then we got some of the basic information on the property with the lender, square footage, things like that. If they have any of this information, it'll come in. So you can kind of see that sale price, your built, school district, all that good stuff. And then any tags that you had entered in a campaign name uh, if you had entered it. Now. Uh, do you want to bring up something um, that would help with this? If you're pushing this stuff into your Beast Mode app and you have the click to call that we've set up, the extension, it's five bucks a month, $4.99. Uh, if you have that and you click this, it will then open up your call rail and put in the seller's number and it would have the tracking number that you've set up on that extension and you'd be able to begin the call and make that outbound dial um, on the computer. So if you have that extension, that's something that happens uh, as an option. I'll make sure that the link for that click to call is in this video or in the description uh, so that you can take a look at that if that's something you wanna look at. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna push to property app. Now, I do not have the automation set up on this side, but it would work in the sense that we're gonna look at this phone number and go search the property app and update if we find a match or create new if we don't. And when it creates a new one, it would put in the property address, pull back the street aerial image uh, and the map like it has here. It'll start pulling back uh, Zillow data, e-appraisal, and um, some of the tax values, rent values, things like that automatically based on you pushing it to the property app and it being a new item where it didn't find the phone number. So that's kind of how that's gonna work as far as the automations. 
Now I just want to show you the uh, Zapier side of things. So you can see this is kind of what it looks like. You're looking for Deal Machines logo, you're looking for the Podio uh, logo, and you want to create that Zap. So if I go in here, we're going to go in and find the Deal Machine Zap that I've set up. You can see that we've got Deal Machine right here, we've got Podio here. We had to make that connection point, so I'm going to open these up and just kind of show you what that looked like. Uh, so picking Deal Machine, I told you we did a trigger of creating a status change. So there is new deals and all these other triggers that you could use. I did it based off that status change. Again, inside the item itself, this is the status change. These are some of the different options that you could use. I went off of the follow-up uh, status change being the trigger point. So if I come down further, you'll see that I selected our deal machine account. I said, what do I want to look for? What trigger point? Follow-up. And then when you come to this um, find data, before you run the test, you'll want to have a uh, deal machine item already created, all the information that you want in there filled in, and you'll want to update the status to whatever trigger, appointment set, or like I said, we did follow up. You'll want to make that change and then run the test because it will find a test item and you'll be able to see the data that it pulled in from that. So uh, make sure you do the trigger point uh, inside a deal machine before you run that test. Then you're done with that editing on that part and what you want it to do is create a brand new podio item so we podio create an item the account which would be your account whatever organization so inside of podio this is your org level this is your workspace and this is your workspace name here so if you ever have questions as too far what the names of the stuff is there you go after we've installed your deal machine application, that's what you're going to be looking for for the name. And then you start pointing to the data. Now this is all data that I filled in into the uh, deal inside a deal machine. And because I had filled in data, it had data that we could see uh, when we start going through and filling in these fields. So make sure that you're pointing to stuff where it has stuff filled in like this. Uh, you can kind of see I picked some of the stuff where I made it mobile number. And then the primary email address for the seller, um, I filled that in as well for my test item so that I could see that I had the right one, the uh, right, correct one. Uh, email type, I said it was going to be home. And then status, new. So inside of the item itself, I'm making it new. So every time a new item comes in, that's what the status is that it's going to be. Then we start filling in the property address. So that's the map field. This is the mailing address fields. And then created on is the date that Deal Machine uh, had the item created. You're pointing to where that's at. Whoever the user was that created the item, that's their work email. And then we just start filling in some of the stuff that's available uh, as data points that Deal Machine provides when you put in an address. So sometimes that'll be filled in, sometimes it won't. You can see this one has no data. However, if we have other items that does have a second mortgage information, then it would fill in because I've put that variable in there. You can see I filled all that stuff in. We've got the different items in here and it's all filled in. Okay, so that is basically what's filling in all of these fields once uh, you've gotten the trigger point of follow up being changed inside of Deal Machine. All right, so after that, once all that stuff is done, once you have the app and the zap all set up, um, we'll be able to set up the automation on the back end to where when you push this button, it will either update or create a new item in your property app, which then allows you to obviously turn on your drip follow up if you have your beast mode with us. Uh, so you'll be able to text and do the ring list and things like that. Uh, long term, because you have a mailing address, uh, we are looking at making it to where you'll be able to send one off uh, direct mail pieces, things like that as well within the system. So that's all things coming down the pipeline. But just wanted to answer that question on how to make the connection point with Zapier, with Beast Mode, and Deal Machine and how that looks. Any questions, feel free to post below. Uh, you can reach out to us at support at reiautomationsquad.zendesk.com. Feel free to post on either the YouTube or on the Facebook group. And look forward to uh, any questions, concerns you have. We'll try to help as much as we can. All right, guys, take care.